Oh, good morning. It is 3.33 a.m. on Thursday, 24th of November. And as you can probably hear, I am sick. So I was in Prague for the weekend to watch my brother in a bodybuilding <coughs> show. And I don't know if it's because I pushed myself too hard leading up to that show or just the travel or the culmination of everything, but I have somehow caught a virus and cannot sleep. <coughs> Fast forward 13 hours, it is 4.45 p.m. and I feel proper shit. I've done absolutely nothing today. A bit of a shock to the system going from 130% for 46 weeks to 0% pretty quickly. And I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty stressed because I've now missed two days of riding. I'm gonna miss tomorrow's Everest and I'll likely miss Saturday, which means I'll be a good 14,000 meters behind for the week. And I have five weeks to make that up in addition to my normal 20,000 meters every week. So yeah, not stoked at the moment. I just hope that I can get back on the bike soon and start ticking over that vert. So, fingers crossed we have some luck and I can get back to it soon. It is Friday and I should be Everesting, but I'm not today. Good news is though, I'm feeling a fair bit better than I was yesterday. So I've got my fingers crossed that I can get back on the bike. Probably gonna wait until Monday. Give the body two extra days just to rest and then get back to it and try and start making up some of that vert. Fortunately, Saturday morning and I am still pretty sick, so no riding this morning. Done a little trip to the markets, get a little bit of food, some bananas. Haven't actually been to the markets for a whole year, actually. I think I loved doing last year, but for this year, been a bit of a schedule to follow, and yeah, haven't been able to do it, so it was a nice little treat to get down there and have a bit of a look around. On the positive, it's good. Believe it or not, I am feeling a little bit better. I'm hoping with one more day off, I can, uh, get back on the bike on Monday and you start making up for some of that elevation that I've missed. Somebody's excited because it's Monday morning, they feel a little bit better. They've got a hot cup of coffee. And they're gonna try their first ride back. So I'm feeling a whole lot better this morning. It's been almost a week since I've been on the bike. I have lost a substantial amount of vert, but you've heard that before. I'm gonna try and catch it up. Today, 3000 meters, it's cold. I'm gonna wait a little while till it warms up and let's see how I go. Fingers, toes, eyes, everything is crossed. I just wanna get through this fucking year. Help me! Burning. First ride back in five days, and it feels like I've never ridden a bike before. Body feels super uncoordinated, but hey, I'm back out doing it, and I'm not coughing up my lungs. Well, not at the moment, anyway. Done 2,700 meters. Go for another 300 more meters today, hit the 3,000, 
and start this week off as per normal. And then as of next week, I basically really have to ramp things up to try and get back on track. So I'm 14 and a half thousand meters behind schedule now. I've got five weeks to make that up. So as if 20,000 meters a week wasn't enough, I'm now gonna make an extra 3,000 odd meters on top of that and throw an extra Everest in there somewhere. So yeah, gonna be challenging, but I feel up for the task. I'm ready to get this bastard done. Hey mate, how are ya? Good, good to meet ya. Tuesday morning, back on the local. Hills Angels, nine repeats, backside. 3,400 meters of vert. Wednesday morning update for ya. I am on La Mora. It's my third day back after being crook. And I feel surprisingly pretty good. First two days are pretty average, clearing the gunk out of the lungs. But today the lungs feel pretty clear, despite it being pretty damn cold. So the sun definitely helps that. Good for morale. Today, 1,500 meters. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna Everest because weather on Friday looks a bit shitty. Uh, so yeah, my typical little connect the Adrenal loop this morning. And uh, yeah, just trying to find the good sensations in the legs again. Mind is in a far better place than it was. I genuinely thought, or I question whether or not, I was going to be able to finish this because I was pretty bloody crook. Couldn't sleep, fever, throat on fire, lungs not in a good way. And I get pretty severe asthma after being sick. So, so thankful that that didn't eventuate. And yeah, vibes, mindset, pretty good. Five weeks to go. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> Let's get it done. So tomorrow, Everest number 47. I'm gonna get a bit of dinner ready now. It is almost 7.30. Typically try and have a pretty early night before an Everest. What's on the menu? Well, as you can see, I have some hamburgers with onion, some gnocchi, just because it's quick, full of carbs easy to digest and some spinach because I always try to have some greens. Here is my recce for the morning. I'm gonna eat that on the road on my way to the climb. About 30 minutes away from Girona where I'm based. So set the alarm for 4am tomorrow. I will get up, have a quick coffee, quick stretch and then basically get in the car and head down to the climb. So yeah, this is what's gonna carve me up. I'll probably have something sweet afterwards. Let's check what's in the fridge. A whole lot of chocolate up here. Some of these bad boys always go down well. No shortage of calories, though the fridge is pretty bare at the moment. But there you go, there's my pre-dinner, pre-Everest dinner. The dinner is served. Gnocchi, hamburgers, and spinach. Believe it or not, I actually don't eat a whole lot before an Everest. Like, at the start of this year, I was hammering food. I thought, like, food is going out of fashion. Now I'm eating pretty normal amounts of food. Like, my partner, she eats less than me because she's half the size of me, but 
I actually don't eat a whole lot considering the amount of exercise I do and I think that's because on the bike I just fuel eat most of my calories while I'm on the bike. So yeah, carbs, protein, a little bit of spinach, don't want too much fiber in the diet before going up a hill all day. Um, a little bit of dessert later, a bit of chucky. That'll do me. I actually just realized my ride today didn't upload to Strava. So, carrying on the Wahoo here because that would be 1500 meters that I missed and I don't want to miss any more elevation. So, hook this up to Bluetooth, get this all set up, lock away that 1500 meters and I'll go to bed a happy little Vegemite. There we go. Preparing transfer. 63 k's today, 1,556 meters. I am making up the difference here. Two hours 45, a job well done. Back to the food. We don't even use knives here, it's just the spoon and the fork. The burgers are so soft and tender. Final bits here, just getting prepped for the morning. I'm gonna take this down to the car tonight because tomorrow morning I wanna get up and basically have a coffee and go. So the last thing I have to do is just charge the SRAM batteries and they look like they are charged. Always good seeing those double green lights. Last thing I wanna do is hop on the bike and not have any battery in the morning because that would be far from ideal. Batteries in, wire on bike, lights on, everything is ready to go. The only thing that I don't know whether it's ready to go is my legs. That'll be something I'll find out tomorrow at around five in the morning. All right, here at the base of the climb now. Didn't realize that it was a closed a closed compound, so I'm having to get ready a little bit further away than I would have liked. But it is what it is. Got my goo gear here, amino acids, multivitamins here. Time to put the shoes on. First I'm just gonna do a bit of a activation stretch. Warm up, whatever you want to call it. They can't see me, but I can see you. It just warms up my glutes, gets me ready. And that's it. Bon dia from lap number 18 of 88. Miguel de Arroa oh, this morning. Oh, early start, 5.30 a.m. kickoff, and the sun has just risen, so I'm about two hours in. And it's just starting to get a little bit colder than what it was. I find whenever the sun rises, right at sunrise, it's at its coldest, so layering is pretty key in this type of conditions, especially when you're going up and down, up and down, you're heating up, cooling down, so today I've got a whole lot of new Velocio gear on, loving these new colorways, but in terms of layering I've got a base layer, merino jersey, and a pretty thick vest, and then my favorite Lux shorts in a longs today and my deep winter booties to keep the toes warm uh, along with the deep winter gloves to keep the hands warm and you know what, I'm actually feeling pretty good amazing climb super nice weather no complaints let's hope it's a good day oh, pretty rampy little climb this morning Obviously been like a little bit of gardening works going on here because the road is covered in gunk but yeah about 10 11 percent average so it'll be around 165 kilometers today for Everest 47 and I actually quite like these steep climbs because 
I find I can get in and get out a lot quicker than if it's a more steady climb and perhaps the steadier climbs are easier on the body but you know this means I can finish in 10 11 hours as opposed to 12 13 hours which just means extra time at home recovering which is super important especially over a year long project like this where I'm doing one every week in addition to the other vert the less time I can spend on the bike the more time I can spend getting ready to get back on the bike so there's a fair bit of logistics and stuff built into this but you know for today my guess around 11 hours just because it's a little bit cooler and I'm obviously just coming off a bit of a bout of illness so let's see how close I can get to that 11 hour mark didn't think I'd be taking the long sleeve <laughs> Seven done. Ooh. Everest 47 is a wrap. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sounds a lot worse than it is. I did it. Got through it. Feeling um, pretty pretty good actually. I, I don't look so good. Don't sound so good, but <coughs> <coughs> I actually feel pretty good. Normalized power at 295 watts for 10 hours 35. A bit quicker than I thought it was going to be today. It's cold, so I'm going to wrap this up quick. Uh, I was joined by mate Juan, a uh, great guy from Catalonia, local in Girona. Joined me for Climb Club a lot earlier this year. Haven't seen him for a while, so it was great to ride together again. Super strong. I mean, that guy is going places, so great to ride with him. Stoked. This time last week, I didn't think I was going to be doing this this week, so <coughs> I want to go. Good day. Cheers. Thank you.